Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back once again to Fat Cat Collection. Today, folks, I got another one for you by RGMT Watches. And uh, if you haven't checked out RGMT, I encourage you, of course, to watch this wonderful video. But also, you know, while you're watching, open up a second secondary uh, tab in your browser and check out RGMT. This way you can actually look at these watches uh, while I'm talking about them. Now, if you want to watch the video beforehand, Totally fine, uh, but just don't forget to check out their brand. You know, a lot of times when it comes to watches, there are so many great brands out there, and they really go undiscovered for many, many years until they really gain traction. And a lot of times, they gain traction, in all honesty, uh, through people, you know, buying them and 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 kind of word of mouth. You know, uh, it's really tough to build a watch and then to have it become really successful because, unfortunately, in the watch community, there is so much misinformation about what determines a high quality watch it's really just nonsense uh, most of these watches out there uh, that you get that are good quality are good quality across many many price points there's not really a lot of difference in the quality you get for price right so RGMT is one of those brands that's relatively new uh, to the watch world and they're kind of like a military inspired um, uh, I guess themed watch. Now, uh, when I talk about themed watches, uh, RGMT is under the Dartmouth brand, and Dartmouth has many, many other brands, uh, some of which like Nubeo, you guys have checked out that brand before. Um, you know, their, their, their watches are generally themed after actual either, um, you know, um, like, uh, um, let's see, creatures in the ocean, or if it's space related, something that might be found in space. The RGMT line isn't necessarily themed off uh, one specific item, or like a tank, or, or like a gun, or something like that. Um, it's just kind of like their logo is military themed. Um, these watches can can very easily, you could say these are very, uh, very, very oceanic themed, very dive watch themed. In my opinion, they kind of fall under the dive watch classification. So uh, that's how, you know, how a lot of companies do it. They, you know, not ever, all the time uh, do you have to have an exact like inspiration behind the watch, right? It just you just need to make a good, high quality watch. Now, some of the check boxes for me personally would make a uh, a a watch that I would like to add into my collection. Are um, you know what is the crystal made out of? And that's like really at the bottom of my list. But let's start the the, the main most important one. What is the material? What is the watch made out of? It's, if it's three sixteen stainless steel, bam, that's a check mark for me. Uh, what is the movement? Is it quartz? Okay, you know I can I, I I have many quartz watches. That's cool. But I really gravitate more towards the automatics. RGMT has a lot of automatic movements. Now again, what kind of automatic? Is it your off the shelf, just very no name copy replica movement? And again, nothing wrong with those movements. There's lots of watches that have those it doesn't mean they're 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 bad uh they're and, and they're great in some regards and and just as good as uh some of the the other brands that they copy right but what what movement's in there is it a rebel movement like a seiko nh35 or an nh series uh or is it a miota you know in, in my opinion when you start looking at watch movements as long as you're you're getting something um and again i don't want to state this as if you know, you have to get these movements in order to have a good quality watch. It's not true. But if you're getting a, a REPL movement like the NH series made by Seiko, the Miotas, uh, any kind of citizen movement, uh, a ETA movement, a Valjou, any of those well-known movements, uh, you're going to have years and years of life out of these watches, if not a lifetime. And I say lifetime because there are, you know, it, there are no guarantees, but I say lifetime because all the watches I have, some of which are over 30 years old, still work fine. And, and some of them, I don't even know what movement's in them. So, you know, the odds of your watch failing uh, you, <laughs> are, are, I don't want to say slim to none, but you have really good chance these watches are going to last you a lifetime, right? Don't listen to the the the, the hate out there saying, oh, that's a good disposable watch. These watches will last you, you know, you six months. No, you, you, you'll, you'll have them for most of your life in most cases, right? At least I can speak on my personal experience. So what I like, again, about the RGMT is that they're using a REPL movement. Now, one downside to their website is that they don't list the automatic movement. They say Japanese automatic three-hand with date on the watch we're about to talk about today. Uh, but, you know, from my experience, what I could tell, I'm pretty sure it's a Miyota in there. And, again, they're doing an injustice uh, to their watches by not listing what kind of movement because it is a checkbox for many people. But uh, based on my experience, I've been using the Seiko NH35, 36, 37 series, and of course, some of the Miotas. So uh, again, you really can't go wrong. Uh, so 
Uh, and what's the third one? Again, for most folks, the crystal. That's a, that's a big one. Now, other people are going to have different ideas of, of what their check box is. Some people, it's going to be the name brand. You know, some people are like, oh, I have to have that that luxury brand or that name brand in order for me to even look at it. You know, that's not my style. It's not. I don't think you have. I, I know you don't have to do that. You're not getting any kind of better quality by going with something like a Seiko or a Rolex. You're just not. Uh, when you look at something like a Rolex compared to a lot of these affordable brands, you're getting microscopic differences under macro lens. Those are the differences. Things to the naked eye, you're not going to see, you're not going to feel. So, all right, let's talk about this watch. So, and now, um, I normally show you guys the box and all that. I don't remember which watch uh, boxes came in, but most of the RGMT uh, watches are going to come in one of these cases. Uh, there is a different one that came today. It's more of like a medic pack case with the, with the, uh, with the different straps made of like kind of a nylon. I don't remember which RGMT watch came in. I think it was the field watch, which... I've already reviewed, checked it out if you haven't seen it. But most of the ones that I've received come in the RGMT, this kind of brick red, uh, very nice dive case. Um, I like these a lot more than the Invictus because the Invictus dive box are so big and bulky. These are really nice. You can store your watch in these. Uh, you have your uh, warranty card. They give you a tool for changing out the straps and, of course, uh, kind of foam where your watch goes. And I love these because this is great. I can take out the foam, and when I go on the boat from you know doing anything, it's going to be wet. Um, I can put my phone in there, electronic. It's just the perfect size to be manageable. And manageable. Some of the Invicta ones, the single boxes, you can only put a watch in there. Um, and then the bigger ones, they're just way too big and bulky. So RGMT killed it with their, their presentation on this. Um, as far as the watch, Watch. Today we're going to be looking at, uh, this is called the Intervention. Let's check this out. Now, some of the watches RGMT makes are, uh, some are a little oversized, uh, and I always say oversized, I'm, I'm getting around that 48, 50 millimeter, but most are going to be in that 46, 47 range. Um, I've been super impressed with the RGMT brand. Uh, like I said, everything under Dartmouth brands has, has been fantastic, whether it be, you know, ballast watches, whether it be Nubeo, um, the new brand Duxo, which I'm going to be reviewing uh, in the not too distant future here. Uh, but I, I just, this one's really cool because it's got tritium gas tubes. And this is the first watch I have in my collection that have tritium gas tubes. If you're not familiar with what tritium gas tubes are, on the indices, um, basically they're filled with tritium, and it's a gas tube, a pressurized tube. Forgive me if I'm saying this incorrectly, but basically they're radioactive, and they constantly glow. So you don't need to put it in the sun and charge it. These are going to always glow. Now, it's not a super bright glow. If you're used to like putting your watch in the sunlight, whether it have like some kind of uh, you know absorbing um, uh, coating on it that absorbs the light, it's super bright, right? When you get in the dark, and then it starts to dissipate. Um, this is gonna be just kind of a steady, dull glow, and um, it's great because when it's completely dark, you'll always be able to see your watch. Um, you don't have to charge it up, you don't have to get it in the sun. It always works. Now there is a half life on these, I believe, with something like uh, tritium gas tubes. I think it's like. The half-life is at 20 years, I think, and that's basically the point at which in 20 years it'll be half as bright as when you got it. Now, uh, with these, you know, we'll see what this looks like 20 years from now, God willing, uh, but, you know, if this were to be half as bright, um, it would start to become uh, difficult to see because tr this, at least this particular gas tube with this particular tritium is not over the top bright. It's definitely not like when you put your watch in the sun and put it in the dark room, how bright and vibrant it is. Uh, but it's always on. And the thing is, even at 20 years, you're still going to be able to see it. If you have a completely dark room, you will still see it. It's just not going to be as bright as the day you got it, right? Uh, so, uh, what else? You have 316 stainless steel. We have a unidirectional rotating bezel. And I believe this watch... I'm going to read you right off the website what they says. Perhaps our most tactical, complete, and useful watch yet. A dual-time outer ring, tritium gas tubes, always on lighting, a robust build, clean and clear legibility. Make this uh, intervention, I swear to God, uh, an incredible watch piece capable of performance and utility at the most demanding levels. That's their little sales pitch there. Let's get a couple close-ups here. And around the uh, unirectional rotating bezel, nice and smooth, no back play, uh, which is pretty much all the watches I review. Uh, but, you know, every watch is going to turn a little different. This is very, very smooth, very easy to turn. And you have all the different cities, Sydney, Honolulu, Los Angeles, right around the outer bezel there. Um, now, I don't understand really how that, <laughs> how you tell time uh, with some of these watches. I wish that they would have some sort of like tutorial on how you actually use uh, these different, different uh, time spots. Because when I turn the watch, let's say I put it on... Let's see if I put it on like New York. That would mean that we should be able to go over to like Los Angeles. And let's see here. Los Angeles, one, two, 
one, oops. Yeah, so we're Los Angeles is on this. If I were to just say, all right, well, if it's, you know, uh, this isn't set right, but let's just say I put it on New York and line it up right in the middle there. If it's like one o'clock East Coast time, New York time, and if we look at the top, <clears throat> where you probably can't see, it says Los Angeles, it's only about an hour difference. So I'm not, I, it doesn't really make any sense to me on how that works or if it's just something decorative. Um, I'll, I'll ask my contact at RGMT and see what they have to say. Uh, but 22 millimeter case, or, or excuse me, bracelet size, solid 316 stainless steel, two year international warranty. It does have that checkbox, that sapphire uh, uh, crystal with anti reflective coating. You have a 44 millimeter case diameter with a 15 millimeter case thickness. Uh, and again, this is a Japanese automatic movement, and I suspect it is the uh, Miyota just based on the way the rotor turns or whatnot. But I will get more clarification on that down the road. Uh, it seems like most of the RGMT watches that I've reviewed are either going to be uh, that Japanese automatic movement or a quartz. <coughs> oh, man. Every time I do a video, I swear to God, man. I've been sneezing like crazy lately. Anyway, uh, screw down crown, uh, dual push button deployment clasp, that RGMT logo on the back. Uh, 44 millimeter, you know, not a big watch at all, but if you compare it to a 38, if you're a guy used to wearing smaller watches, um, which are kind of, I think, kind of cross between a, a feminine watch or a um, or 38 is kind of, to me, more of like a, a female's watch, right? But again, you can wear whatever you want. Lots of dudes have wear smaller watches. A lot of guys wear over-the-top watches, right? Uh, but I would say that this is definitely a watch that a man or a woman can wear. Uh, but it is kind of very, I, I think it is a masculine watch, just the way that it's, you know, it's... Um, I don't know, just, you know, I, I, when I look at this, I, I automatically think of a masculine watch. But ladies, you know, girls have been rocking all the different men's stuff, and it really is pretty unisex. Um, that's really about it. Uh, oh, 30 ATMs of water resistance. Uh, it is available in a couple different color combinations. You have it in the, uh, let's see what they got here. They have it in, you have it in the black right here. You have it in the all black. It has some green accents, a green crown. Kind of like a, um, kind of an OD green, a blue they have the black and black with what I call the Pepsi. The inner ring here is blue and then red, and then of course black outer ring with the orange and black. Uh, now the one that I requested was not this model. This is the one they sent just randomly sent me. I think there was a little miscommunication there, but not not complaining at all. It is a fantastic watch, and I love the tritium tubes. And I think that's what really sets this watch apart. I think if it didn't have the tritium, it would just be kind of a, all right, you know, pretty normal watch nothing really over the top to write home about uh but with that tritium it really is pretty impressive uh absolutely love this one this one's been getting a lot of wrist time lately uh, especially when i'm not in the mood for wearing something really you know large or you know it just it, it just depends on my mood on what i'm doing so i absolutely love it i would also like about it is that that sapphire crystal is almost it, it almost feels like the edges are kind of like beveled so it's really smooth nothing sharp on the edge to catch i know it's kind of you know uh not really anything too unique but it's it's hard to see but i'm not sure what it is the way that the i'm not sure whether it's the way that the bezel kind of ma mates up to the crystal but a lot of watches i feel you'll feel like a distinct like edge and this is like really smooth really rounded over so uh i really like that they did that there friggin awesome looking a watch love it very military inspired and when i say military inspired you know there's nothing really tying this to the military other than the fact that the RGMT logo has kind of like the M with the chevrons. Uh, that's kind of like their identity with the RGMT line. Uh, other than that, you know, they, they make a great product, really cool watches, and very robust, very high quality, uh, and I love them. It's one of my favorite brands. Uh, price point on these here, again, right now, the Dartmouth brands, RGMT, Nubeo, they're working on uh, kind of adjusting the prices. If you go directly to their website, this is right now on sale for, uh, or not on sale, excuse me, it's on, uh, on it's available for a thousand bucks. Let me just click this and see if you can, you can add it to your cart. So thousand bucks to get you this watch. Um, I, you know, like I said, guys, they are working at um, kind of, I guess kind of irony out their pricing structure. If you've noticed their new Bayo line, uh, the prices have been kind of been changing. Um, I'm also, you also have a Fat Cat Collections coupon code now available through my links on these watches, uh, through um, uh, Spinnaker Watches, which is another one of their brands, and new Bayo. So as time goes on, you're going to see more of these programs pop up with more of the coupon codes, and they're really going to iron out the prices to make these um, just affordable, very competitively priced watches. So 
awesome, awesome watch. Check them out. Click the link in the description. Uh, let me go ahead and throw this on. Let me remove my new Bayo Magellan I got on right now. Uh, if you haven't checked out the video on this, uh, this is on special. This is another example of a watch that was going for about $1,200, bucks, and now they've ironed out the price, uh, $199. It's on sale right now. So uh, I, know, I know if by the time you guys watch this video, if it is still on sale, but get it while you can. Fantastic, kind of Richard Meal, um, kind of inspired watch. Absolutely love this piece. All right, so let's throw this sucker on here. And I know, guys, I didn't show you the, uh, you know, the cardboard box. Uh, you know, you can check out the other RGMT videos I've done if you want to see what that looks like, but it's just a cardboard box. All right, so I have a seven inch wrist. I weigh about 185 pounds, um, and I'm about five foot seven. So this is what a watch looks like in a guy my size, my height, and my weight. Again, you know, I joke sometimes when I'm like, ah, it's a smaller watch, but 44 millimeter um, is still a really nice size watch. Um, I, I, I'll always recommend. Uh, something this size for a guy who's not really into uh, wearing something too big or over the top. A lot of people, you know, for me personally, I can wear anything. It doesn't really bother me. But, you know, other people are more sensitive. Uh, some folks, they, you know, they have a hard time with things that are, are, are big and heavy, you know. So this is really nice, nice in between without having to go down to like a 42, uh, you know, your classic kind of Submariner size. Um, I, I like the fact you can get something a little bit larger. Uh, if you're not a guy, again, whose rockets, you know, the really big 50 millimeter oversized watches, it's just a nice size improvement uh, without kind of, you know, sticking to that that time-tested 42 millimeter size uh, just gives you a little extra, you know. And I think, you know, with this watch, having that black bezel, pumping up the size a little bit to that 44, um, definitely, did I misspeak there, 44? Yeah, 44, sorry, man, it's video. <laughs> um, you know, because black does kind of, it has a tendency to kind of make watches look a little bit smaller. So I like the fact that, you know, they could have kept it at 42. And this is kind of nitpicking here. There's not really much of a difference. Uh, but, you know, um, you know, everybody's different. And, you know, I hear it all the time. A lot of guys are like, oh, man, I wish Invicta made, you know, more smaller watches. And they do. But, uh, you know, Invicta's not a brand for everybody. I mean, there's some guys who just, they don't want anything really big. Despite the fact that Invicta makes a lot of different sizes. So with RGMT, you're getting, you're getting the quality there. You know, if you like Aragon, you like Invicta, you're going to love the quality on RGMT. Uh, they're on par with many, many different brands. And what I really like about this watch, is when you look at it, like right now on camera, I'm looking at the, the viewfinder, you know, adding all those different cities around the bezel, I don't know, it just, it just really makes the bezel pop. It makes it look a little interesting and, uh, and, and not, you know, less boring, you know what I mean? A, a black watch, black bezel, it, it is kind of simple, you know, uh, but I really like the, the contrast on this here. It's absolutely fantastic. All right, guys, so check it out. Click the link in the description. Check out RGMT. Let me know if I can help you guys any way. Uh, I'm always here to, to answer questions. You know, if you guys message me on Instagram, message me on Facebook, whatever it may be, I'm always here to help you guys. I enjoy selling watches, um, you know, uh, to, to, to the public or referring watches. Excuse me, I don't actually sell direct. But um, I enjoy when you guys watch one of my videos and you guys say, man, I really like that. Uh, New Bayo's been a, a, a brand that's really been getting a lot of traction lately. I get people all the time being like, man, I picked that one up, picked it up your your video and you know I, I really like what Dartmouth is doing and uh, they're going to continue to make great watches and hopefully later on down the road we can get a little more involved in the collaboration maybe naming a few uh, we'll see uh, in due time so thanks for watching guys have a fantastic day and take care